How did he pull it off? I wonder. Jesus, how did he do it? I wish I would have been there. Or at least talk with a first-hand witness, like get it second-hand from someone who was there to understand the miracle, to really get it. So how did it really take place? I'm really, really wondering. But what I do know is that miracles did not take place only then, but miracles take place here. And I want to compare the miracle from then with Jesus, with miracles that take place right here and right now among us. What is unique or what makes miracles happen? Well, the first thing about a miracle, and we hear it very specifically in this situation, is you look at the situation, you think like, impossible, no way. And Jesus is actually testing Philip and Andrew and saying, go get bread for these folks. He said, there's no way. Have you ever faced a situation where you felt like, no way, this is not going to happen? Your initial response was like, whoa, too big. Whether it's personally in your life you faced a challenge, whether it was in a community, in a congregation, you felt like, too big, I'll just step back, walk away. We all have those experiences. We all have those situations. But then what happens? The first step is, mm -mm, not going to happen. Then as they look around and kind of let their wheels spin, they find this little boy. Let's call him Joshua. Joshua, his mom packed him a lunchbox. You see, I'm interpreting, but Joshua sees the need. He sees the hungry people. He comes with his lunchbox, he opens it, and he offers it to Jesus. To me, that is a miracle right in there. Someone, small little kid, someone who sees the need and opens their heart and says, here, I want to help, take this. And he steps out there in faith and he does it. Isn't that what it often takes when we face challenging situations? Just one person. And sometimes the children help us with that. Jesus says, become like children. Have that trust. Have that faith. Just come out. Do the first step. Don't hide. Don't feel like ducking, putting your head in the sand or hiding under a blanket. Get up. That small step. That step in faith that this little boy does is for me a miracle. He comes, he brings it and says, here it is. It's the first step. And then what happens then? Well, we don't know exactly what happens, do we? But what we do know is Jesus takes it and... There are many, many, many helpers, not just the disciples. When you think of 5,000 hungry people, 5,000 hungry families, it takes a lot of organization, a lot of caring. We're talking about big baskets, 12 baskets. So miracles don't happen when you just lean back and wait for them to happen. Miracles happen when people organize, when they step up, when they have a plan when they uh, kind of come and show up and when they do the work. It's kind of miracles happen when people show up, when they roll their sleeves up, when they get to work. And that's what the disciples do. And that's what all the other followers actually do there. It takes all of us to make miracles happen, doesn't it? To me... Hungry, many hungry people are being fed. That's what this miracle story from Jesus talks about. 
to me, our loaves and fishes is a miracle. Every single month, people show up. We have an amazing coordinator who does the ordering of the food. We have people during the week who come to help unload trucks of food. We have people who pick up from grocery stores food items that are about to expire or have expired, they're frozen, they carry them in. And then on the last Friday of the month, nine in the morning, people come and pack and you see their heart is in it. They do it for the right reasons. And the people who are driving up, they're treated with love, with dignity, with hope, with wow, just like the living Christ. To me, that loaves and fishes were in the 40th year, for 40 years, every single month, rain or shine or freezing or no matter what, hungry people are fed. Do you see the parallel to the miracle? In the beginning, it looks impossible. How the heck will we be able to feed hungry people? It's that little boy stepping out in faith, offering. It's people like you and like me getting up in the morning, showing up, rolling up their sleeves, unpacking boxes, stashing the food into bags, carrying them up the stairs, setting them up, placing them in people's trunks. It's the people who register the people. It takes a village, it takes a great community to make it all happen. To me, my friends, that's a miracle. That's a miracle. When will you look at your life, the challenges you faced, and I really believe each and every one of us has faced some challenges, some overwhelming situations where we did not know how will we make it through this. Maybe a diagnosis, maybe a loss, maybe like your world gets turned upside down. Your first initial reaction is like, oh my God, I don't know how to handle this. You may feel like stepping back like Andrew and Philip feels like this is too much not going to happen. But then someone shows up. Someone like that little Joshua opens up and says, okay, at least there is something to start with. And sometimes I wonder whether the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000 was that the people looked at Joshua that he opened up and maybe they opened up too. Maybe they had lunches for themselves too, but they felt like it's too much. My lunch doesn't go that far to feed this many. And maybe when the boy opened up, others starting opening up, and it became a feast. Maybe the miracle is from Hearts that feel like there is not enough, what's in it for me, to hearts like, I can do my part, I can open up, I can give, I can live generously. You see the miracle there? I think every time a human heart is changed and transformed from what's in it for me, I have to hold on, I'm afraid to lose. Every time a heart is opened and softened from holding on in fear not enough to, I'll do my part. I open up. This little bit, you go. And the shift, it happens. The miracle is right there. So my question for you is, where and how did you witness miracles in your life? Changed hearts. People willing to open up like little Joshua. Where the impossible 
became possible because people did show up, rolled up their, rolled up their sleeves and got to work. Where did you witness miracles like that? And how will you participate in making miracles like that happen? For I think and deeply believe it takes all of us to make it happen.